In this video, let's enhance our YouTube form by adding logic to disable form submission when appropriate. The scenarios under which you want the submit button to be disabled are completely dependent on your own requirements and how you want the user experience to be. For our example, we will disable the form when the user has never interacted with the form or if the form contains errors. The assumption is that the form can never be valid if the user has never entered data to begin with. But as I already mentioned, please feel free to change the logic if you want to. First, let's disable the submit button when the user has not entered any input. To disable form submission when the user has not entered any input, we can set the disabled attribute of the submit button to not is dirty. The is dirty value is a boolean that indicates whether the user has interacted with the form. If the form values are not different from the default values, is dirty will be false and the submit button will be disabled. Second, let's disable the submit button when the form state is invalid. To track the validity of our React hook form, we get access to an is valid form state. We can destructure it from the form state and log it to the console for tracking. We can then use it along with the is dirty flag to disable the submit button when the form is invalid. The code for this would be not is dirty or not is valid. So if the form is not dirty or if the form is not valid, please disable the submit button. If we head to the browser, we can see that the submit button is disabled as we have not modified any field value. When we start modifying the form, is dirty gets set to true. Is valid though still remains false. When we fill in all the required fields, is valid gets set to true and the submit button is enabled. If we enter an incorrect email format, is valid is false again and the submit button is disabled. When we correct the format, the button is enabled. And we can now submit the form. This is how you disable the submit button with React hook form. Remember that the scenarios for disabling the submit button are entirely up to you, so feel free to modify the logic to suit your needs. Now, similar to is valid, there are a few more form submission states we should be aware of. Let's see what they are in the next video.